guys, Kevin Shaw here, editor-in-chief of Mopar Connection Magazine. Back in the home garage, working on the charger. You're probably wondering, well, what did I break? <laughs> and I didn't break anything. I'm getting ready to go up to the Indy Performance Swap Meet and Trade Show in Indianapolis. And I'm bringing my cylinder heads and intake manifold up with me to go hang out with Dave Hughes at Hughes Engines. Again, these just haven't been gone through. This is the standard casting. You can even see all the casting, the roughness of the casting in there. And then of course here are the beehive springs that we installed uh, about two years ago. And they ran great, we're really happy with them, a really good street head. But uh, if we're really gonna get into the mid tens like we want, we gotta get the flow coming in and it's time to step up for our charger. Now, so what would happen is effectively, we'd run out of top end around 5,700 RPM and really lay down on its nose. There's a couple things that we're gonna be changing prior to getting the charger really dialed in prior to this June's Hot Rod Power Tour. Uh, number one being the cylinder heads. Number two, given that we have 700 foot pounds of torque, given that we've got a 30 inch tall tire, we really don't need that much gear. We just have a really, really steep gear that just isn't necessary, especially as we drag race it, we're really on the high end as we pass through the traps. We wanna bring that RPM down just a little bit so that we're not bouncing off the rev limit. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably going, oh my gosh, why would you take this car apart? It was running so well. It really was, and I was very, very happy with it, but we had been waiting for a while to get our heads up at Dave Hughes and get them into Dave's hands. He's got one of the best CNC programs for the Edelbrock aluminum heads and the window finally opened up, we're gonna take it. So it was one of those bittersweet things of taking apart a perfectly functioning car and ripping it all apart and getting the heads cleaned up and ready to go up to Hughes engines. But we know a lot of car guys have done the exact same thing that we're doing right now. So I'd love to hear your stories of taking apart perfectly functioning cars just to make it a little bit better. Hopefully you're not experiencing the bad side of it where you've taken apart a perfectly functioning car and haven't gotten back to getting it back and running. But we'd love to hear your stories. Please down in the comments, let's get the conversation going. This is a little bit of a short one. I still have a lot of work I gotta do before I can run up to the Indy Trade Show. If you guys are gonna be there, please hunt me down, say hi. I'd love to shake your hand. Thanks again for watching the videos. Thanks again for reading the magazine. Again, check in with MoparConnectionMagazine.com for new articles written every single day, entirely subscription free to you. As long as you've got internet access, you can read the magazine. So guys, thanks again. We'll see you soon.